Hello Capricorn, welcome to your April 2020 tarot card reading. Welcome to Aries season, fourth house sun, right? Sun coming through that fourth house, house of home and family. And yet here we are confined to our homes and to be with our family, right? Saturn moving into Aquarius, second house, Mars moving into the second house, a lot of focus on your finances as well. Um, I don't want to talk too much about the stars. Let's get right into the cards. The very first card that comes out is the King of Swords. Now this signifies your energy Capricorn. So you seem to be taking on a really high level perspective right now. You can kind of see the King of Swords up in the mountaintop sort of convening with wild wildlife here. You know, he's very much in his element, breathing that fresh air and allowing himself to just watch what happens. This is a really detached energy. This is not the, the vibe of someone who's trying to control anything or someone who is trying to micromanage or make things fit in a certain way, in the way that you need them to be fitting. Just this guy really knows how to let go. He knows how to let go, he knows how to be free, he knows how to surrender, and he knows how to just watch. Because when he knows that when he sits there and watches, that he is then more likely to make a better move, right? Whether it's in the stock market, whether it's with your career, whether it is with your partnerships or whatever, you can make a better move when you are more alert. I think he's really alert right now, I think you are really alert. The energy in the environment is one of justice. So on a global scale, we already know that we are, you know, balancing out, you know, that there was seriously um, something that needed to happen to kind of humble us a little bit, to bring us back down to earth and to remind us, you know, how vulnerable we really are. You might be seeing similar kinds of themes coming up in your own life as well. A reminder that you don't have control over a lot of things. A reminder that all the things you've worked for while Saturn was in Capricorn, all of this effort, all this energy, all of this attention on certain things, it's going to start paying off. You have to release it though, right? King of Swords, you have to release it um, in, or in order to make space for justice to come back around. Justice is normally the actual manifestation of our intentions. So if we have been working really hard, it can come back in the form of promotions or recognition. If it's love and we've been working so deeply on self-love, this is when romantic love becomes more possible. If we've been trying to like save and earn money, this is a time when in spite of what the economy is doing, I'm not going to say it's definitely going to happen in April, but in spite of what's happening, there are still positive swingbacks imminent, okay? So it's important for you to acknowledge that this is what's happening, this balancing act. Justice is one of our best friends. It can be very karmic though. So if you've been in a really nasty, negative place mentally and emotionally, it can come back in an even more negative way and just start kind of piling on as well. So your optimism, your detachment, your stoicism, your ability to look from a higher perspective and see the greater good here, all working in your favor. Now let's get into the nine cards. So I've had a lot of requests. I've been saying it, saying it in all my videos. A lot of people have been asking to be able to see the cards while I'm talking about them. So I'm gonna pop an image over here so you can follow along and see how everything is laid out in relation to one another. First card out, 10 of swords. Now, king of swords, eats the Ten of Swords for breakfast. You know, he's not afraid of being at a Ten of Swords place. He's fully aware though, that it takes time to accrue this many swords. Swords are not easy to get, right? Swords require focus on the negative. They require a lot of anxiety. They require a lot of nervousness. And as that stuff builds over the days, weeks, months, or years, it eventually comes to a breaking point. And the Ten of Swords really is that breaking point because any additional energy or emphasis placed on the things that you're worried about becomes a complete waste, becomes completely useless, and is completely ineffective. So for you, this thing that you've been very focused on the past couple of years, whatever you've been trying to do, 
It just is simply time for you to let it go. The Ten of Swords is saying it's done, it's over, there's nothing more you can do. You have to just let the cards fall where they lie, right? You have to just let them fall. Um, you, you can't reach up and grab the cards and lay them out the way you want them to be. So it can be hard for, you know, anybody, but a King of Swords is very good at that. You know, the King of Swords is actually representative of the Aquarian archetype. So it's very fitting to have your ruling planet, Saturn, in Aquarius coming out as a King of Swords. Because this is, again, Saturn is very, you know, it's really powerful in Aquarius here. It brings in really good things. It brings in a lot of gains, a lot of blessings. And we don't have room for this. We have to get rid of this if we want to enjoy the benefits of an Aquarius in, or a Saturn in Aquarius, okay? So hands off, let, you know, the higher self, let the higher powers, let the angels really guide you here. It's going to be really beneficial. No sense in worrying. Maybe some of you really need to take a break. I remember talking to my Capricorns in 2017 and being like, oh my God, you guys, you need to take a break. You need to take a break. And you just never did. You just kept, I just saw my Capricorn friends, you just kept going, you kept moving, you kept making things happen in spite of all the stuff. And yet now is a time where I think it's almost forced. It's forced. Um, so you do like take a break. You don't have to find the answers right now. It's going to be hard. Like if you spend time trying to find the answer, you're going to come up short because there are so many unknowns right now and a lot is dependent on other people. You know, we know Capricorn likes to be all independent and you're real good at that. But there comes a time when you have to realize how dependent you are on society. Okay, so take a break, take a beat, take a breath. Allow yourself to just chill. I'm looking at this four of coins and it's just very, it's not spending its money. It's not really working very hard. It's not really doing all the things that you feel you should be doing. That might be one of the hard things for earth signs right now because earth signs always kind of want to be doing things. They always feel compelled to jump in and, and be of service, to be of help, to, to really ease everybody else. And unfortunately, that's just not going to be possible. It's not your responsibility to do that for other people. The best thing you can do is do it for yourself and set a precedent or set a model for other people to follow. There is an essence of leadership with the Four of Coins because the Four of Coins completely does not care what other people think, it completely does not care what other people are doing. It is not concerned with anybody else's opinions, all right? It just is very solid in what it knows to be true for itself. So the more pure you can be this month, the better. The more honest you can be, the better. Remember, justice is bringing things back to us, so we have to remember what we're sending out. And, you know, I remember beginning of the year in my February readings, I talked about how 2020 is all about setting new precedents for the new decade. How are you, you know, how is your work ethic going to be? Is it going to be overblown? Are you going to be way overworking yourself? Or are you going to be able to scale it back and enable that life work balance? Right? Life work balance. Um, how are your relationships going to be? How are your relationships with your children and your parents going to be? How is your, you know, your, how are your finances going to be? All these things, the decisions that you make, they set the tone. So now is an opportunity for you in a very detached, unemotional, completely unabashed way to make good decisions. As we move forward with strength, you know, we are all needing to be strong right now, I think, strong in our optimism, courageous in, in our faith, and that's no exception for you. It does require strength. I guess since I have a picture up there, you guys, I don't need to hold them up, but since you guys do have strength to deal with that Ten of Swords, you can then deal with the Ten of Swords. The strength here is in letting it go. The strength here is in admitting you don't have control. The strength is taking your hands off the wheel and trying to force things. Cardinal energies, all four of you, Capricorn, Aries, Libra, um, Cancer, <laughs> all four of you, you are drivers, right? You are the drivers of the Zodiac. So it can be the most difficult for cardinal signs to not 
try to, to jump in. It can be the most hard for cardinals. I will say that. In the very center of the reading, we have temperance, which goes hand in hand with the justice card. We see the two sides of the scale. We see the two cups balancing out here. And this is where it's at. It's in the balance. It's in the chill. It's in the zen. Like we know that that Aquarian archetype is really known for being, you know, la-di-da. All can be very high-level spiritual kind of stuff, right? We know that. And maybe a little bit more of that would be in your best interest. A little less earthiness, a little less material focus, a little less, you know, on what you can do at this time, and a little bit more faith, a little bit more of that would be really, really great. That nice balance of the world and the spiritual going on. That's what it's, that's what this is here for. Now I'm getting a feeling of messengers um, I think Sagittarius also relevant because it's your 12th house, right? So the Sagittarian reading and now the Capricorn reading, both are telling you to be very receptive right now, to be in a meditative state. I think for those of you who are in isolation, like maybe you don't have families or significant others, so you are kind of alone right now, that is like the coolest thing that could ever happen for you because you are going to be receiving divine guidance at this time you will have your angels and we also got this fifth i'm going to skip ahead for just a second we also got this fifth chakra archangel gabriel coming out as well who's a, a messenger right and a lot of people say this is also a card of the gabriel archangel so angels are among you they are around you they are guiding you helping you and delivering messages so it is in your best interest to just shut your mind down and just listen Listen, listen, listen. For the things you have to do, because I know we still have to go to work and we still have to do things, you know, a lot of the same, the same normal things. We got to go to the grocery store and all of that. That is a really great place to dedicate your attention because a lot of it is quite mindless. Doing the things you normally do, your typical routine, your typical advancement, your typical of all these things, it does just chug along, chug, 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 and it just moves and it just continues on. And, you know, it doesn't require a lot of thought, but there can be a lot of productivity and a ton of rewards. Remember justice, guys. It comes back. So there's tons of rewards in the activity that you do now, the actions that you take now. And for those of you who are thinking about starting businesses, why not? Like, why not get your side hustle roaring to go? You know, those of you wanting to start YouTube channels or Instagram accounts or thinking about starting that e-commerce store and start doing this and this and this, like, just do it. It's not hard stuff, you know, and to dedicate your time to the things that come naturally to you to talk about the things you love or to create the things you love to create there will be results. There will be re rewards here. All right, now we got the lover's card. For some reason, this lover's card has been coming out um, a little bit more than I was expecting because I, I think it does have a lot to do with that internal unity also going very well with justice. We have the Libra archetype and the Gemini archetype coming out here. And both of these are symbols of duality, right? We have the three signs of the zodiac that are very dualistic, Gemini, Libra, and Pisces, right? Pisces is the two fish. So when we have this much duality coming out, they all symbol symbolize a unity within oneself. Our head and our heart, our physical and our spiritual, all working together, all working with unison. For those of you who are in romantic partnerships, I'm seeing a little something going a little bit awry because we've got the Three of Swords right next to it. Um, so there could be a little bit of anxiousness. There could be a little bit of discomfort with being together with someone for so long or you know, being so confined and not having your usual amounts of freedom. You know, that's fine. I think this is definitely a storm that we can all weather and it will be fine. Um, but ultimately, when it comes to communication, when it comes to reaching out, I think there's a lot of healing that can be done here. There might be some things that surface at this time. Um, and it could be childhood things, right? Because when we have sun coming through the fourth house, there is a lot of uh, you know, back to our roots kinds of things, our, hist our, our, our own history, our ancestors, a lot of these things can come up um, in our energy field. And, you know, it's just things that we really have to deal with. Oh, 
I know that there is a desire for humanity to come together. And yet I, I and I know we're seeing a lot of that. But staying together as a smaller unit is also is equally important, you know. So if you're with someone, you're confined with your family, arguing and fighting and whatever is not going to be super beneficial right now and it could cause problems. So just make sure that you are doing your part in creating peace within the family and making certain accommodations there. Because when I see this Queen of Cups reversed, I get just a tad nervous that there is maybe a water sign, maybe a Pisces, specifically a Cancer or a Scorpio or someone else who is just a little bit more on the emotional side who is just really not handling this very well. And again, they can very easily come into the family unit and project this stuff onto people very easily. Um, this is probably going to be more prominent for non-singles, right? People who are in relationships and who have families. But if you're single too, there could be a situation that comes up that, you know, something happens with a sister or a mother or some so a friend or something like that. This person, I think, is a lot more empathic than they realize. And so they are feeling the weight of the world a little bit too much. I don't know if this person knows how to really protect themselves from a global consciousness, you know, from really absorbing that. I think they feel it a lot more and they're just not, you know, not vibing very well with the stress and the anxiety and the fear that is kind of, you know, very much out there. So your love, your compassion, your kind of um, cheerleaderish vibe, right? Let's cheer the family on. Let's, let's be safe. Let's be good. Let's work together. Let's do this. That kind of energy is going to be very well received for the people in your family. We know that Capricorns are very natural leaders a lot of time. And a lot of times people look to the Capricorn archetype for guidance. So you might be feeling that pressure. Maybe some of you don't like it so much because you're trying to be all detached and you're trying to be all in your elevated headspace. Um, so again, it's all about the balance. You can be in an elevated headspace and also be in your unit and to be, you know, celebratory and a cheerleader for the family and all of that in a really good positive way. So you got to really ask yourself where something is lacking and where there might be a little bit too much here and, and to really work on your own to bring things together. We'll probably get more information in the comprehensive reading about this Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, Three of Swords situation. So stay tuned for those cards. So let's go ahead and take a look. Right. Again, we have this fifth chakra archangel. It is about communication. Um, I know that a lot of Capricorns right now might not really want to talk about stuff because you're still feeling unsure, right? You're still awaiting that divine guidance. You're still awaiting that aha light bulb moment to really turn on. But to communicate like, hey, babe, I'm still kind of waiting. I'm still not sure. I'm still feeling a little confused as to which way to go. I'm waiting for the cards to fall. You know, that kind of communication will be really helpful when you're dealing with the Queen of Cups reverse because she just, she might need a little bit more coddling or kindness or, you know, genuine warmth than you right now. And it's just, you know, you just got to work with it. And then even here, the uh, the um, astrology card that came out was the water element, which is very much about sensing. I know you guys want to be on your mind right now, but unfortunately, there is someone in your sphere who is just feeling a little bit too much. They are sensing things a little too much. And your empathy, which we have to talk about the, you know, the versatility of Capricorn, the chameleon-like nature of Capricorn. You know, you are the sea goat, your symbol, right? So yes, you can climb the mountain, but you also have the fish tail ability to go into the water. So when it comes to the water, emotional, spirituality, all that kind of stuff, you are really, really, really good at it. So the empathic nature of you needs to come out and again, balance out the mind activity. So yeah, so anyway, big reading for you guys, but ultimately it's a very beautiful reading. It's a beautiful time. It is an amazing time to start planting seeds. So let's, let's do that, right? Let's do that. So we'll go ahead and put the camera down. We'll pull the comprehensive cards and um, we'll go from there. See you in just a sec.
my Capricorn, so here you can see everything. I'm going to go ahead and clarify these first. For those of you who are new to my channel, what I do here is I pull out all the cards that we'll cover in the comprehensive reading. Uh, that link will be in the description box down below. We'll talk for about 20 to 25 minutes about these cards. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Let's go ahead and see what comes out for this King of Swords. We have Nine of Coins, Four of Coins, and Five of Cups. And then we have the Justice card. Ace of Swords. See, this is really the breakthrough from the Ten of Swords energy. They complement each other very well. There is a new awakening. There is a new beginning. Ten of Coins. Nine of Coins, Ten of Coins. You guys are in a really great spot. And Seven of Swords. Okay. Let's go ahead. Pull this other deck here. Let's start clarifying the Ten of Swords. Eight of Swords reversed. You guys are going to be stepping into a period of clarity at some point this year. And I think while it might be foggy right now, the faith in the clarity is super important. Beautiful. I really do love the mind of the King of Swords coming out. Yeah, something is going on in your one-on-one -on -one connections. It could be someone at work, although I do feel a more at-home kind of vibe for that Queen of Cups. Um, if you are dealing with someone at work, though, who's just feeling really out of sorts, you know, again, that cheerleader kind of quality will be really beneficial to the connection or to the relationship or to the health of the project or whatever. Just a really positive, another eight of coins, another nine of coins. It's a really positive outlook here. Okay. High Priestess, Chariot, Four of Wands. Again, not a good time to try to get anywhere. This is just about doing what comes naturally, doing what feels good, doing what you're good at, and not really trying to make anything happen because it's just, there's just too many, too many variables right now. Beautiful, there's a card of Capricorn. Another strength card, another ten of coins, a lot of repeat cards, five of coins, let's do one more for that. Emperor, perfect. I like the emperor with the knight, well, excuse me, with the king of swords, I really do. I feel like those come out together and they just complement each other so well. Ace of wands. A lot of people looking to you right now. Harshness is not going to be very useful. Judgment, Eight of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Okay, great. So this is where we will pick up on the comprehensive reading. So we will leave you guys here. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Have an amazing Aries season, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.